Hey everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. This is gonna be a real quick general reading. I don't know who it's for or what it's about. Let's say a blessing and we will find out, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All righty, I'm gonna start with this Deviant Moon Tarot. have the lovers out. I was thinking to myself before I started this reading, I don't know who this is going to be for, but it feels like it's going to be about love. Now, the lovers isn't always about love. In fact, it's really about making a major choice in your life, and it can be about a choice when it comes to your love life. In fact, let's find out a little bit more here. The seven of wands on the bottom of the deck, and the seven of pentacles. Ooh. So, um, it's almost like somebody here is in a romantic relationship and and there's the seven of cups. We got seven, seven, seven. How interesting. Um, so it's almost like somebody here is unsure about a connection. It's like they feel emotionally unsure. They feel unstable in it. And there could have been some arguing, some drama, but somebody's waiting to make a decision about it. have the ace of cups somebody and I've got the five of swords here and the ace of cups comes out on its side when when cards come out on their side for me as a reader it tells me that whoever I'm reading for it's kind of your job to turn it into the upright or into the reverse based on the choices that you make so it tells me there is a choice that has to be made here it feels like this love relationship may either be coming back around or you may or it may be kind of new this five of swords, this can be the energy of worrying about what other people are saying about this. It can be an energy of gossip. It can be um, the energy of like verbal altercations or arguing in some way. Somebody here in this connection, they may fight to win, you know, argue to win. They may need to, to they may need to win. Um, it's called being a right fighter, I think, in the great words of Dr. Phil, right? I've got the nine of pentacles on its side. This is somebody who's saying, I'm not sure, but I might just be better off single. Um, whoever, and there's the fool. Um, somebody is like ready to give this another try or they're still kind of waiting to see what's gonna happen here. But someone's really on the fence about this. Do I open my heart to this person or is it easier for me to just stay on my own? <laughs> Whoever I'm reading for here, it feels like you have kind of started a new chapter in your life, a new season of your life, and you don't really want to take any of your old habits, your old relationship, any kind of baggage um, into this new phase of your life. And so you're kind of checking yourself here. Is this the right person for me? Is this not the right person for me? The sun in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. That's Leo energy, but I feel like I'm reading for someone who's who's kind of upset. Um, I'm gonna grab this Tarot of Wonderland to clarify. And there's the Five of Swords when I open it up. Um, I don't know, guys. <clears throat> Whoever's in this situation, I'm not sure this is a good person for you. Let's find out a little bit about who this person is. King of Wands. Um, that's Aries Leo, Sagittarius, masculine energy, doesn't have to em embody those um, zodiac signs or that gender at all. But this would be someone who's like a real go-getter, someone who's very physically active. They may work out a lot. Um, they're very attractive, very good looking. They're very funny. They're fun to be around. They might make you laugh. Um, I've got the Page of Pentacles in the reverse here. This person hasn't given you a lot to go on this person, they may not be, they, they may be kind of breadcrumbing you, if I'm being honest. 
Yeah, I have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and the Hermit. Um, this person may do the ghosting when it comes to um, communicating with you. Breadcrumbing and ghosting. I'm, it's not off to a good start, kids. I'm not loving it. Not loving the energy here. Um, I've got Virgo energy out with that hermit. Um, this person, this person may be kind of solitary themselves. They may be struggling financially or they may, this is where I was kind of getting here. Somebody, this, this person may not see you as the person they want to build with or grow with. That could be where some of these arguments have actually come from, like deep down inside. You may feel like this person isn't picking you. They're not choosing you. And it may trigger you. You may be very attracted to this person. You guys may have like a very um, like magnetic sexual attraction to one another. You may have a good time with one another, but it's like this person isn't investing in you. And they seem almost um, self-absorbed maybe. There's the moon, that's Cancerian energy. This person may struggle with some mental health challenges themselves that you just don't know about. Um, this person may trigger some of your issues. Like I said, um, whoever you are, you're starting some a new phase in your life and you don't really wanna be bringing the, bag, the old baggage into the new place with you. This person may remind you of people you've been with in the past. They may trigger you in the same way. There's something about this relationship that's kind of mirroring in a way. It's like kind of a push-pull. And it's time to make a decision. I don't think that you guys have been talking much lately. Mm. I just got, and um, my stomach's kind of upset. I have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Um, this is a timing issue. This, and that Sagittarius energy. Um, this, like I was thinking in my head, that push-pull mirroring, there's almost like a runner-chaser dynamic here. And it seems to flip-flop back and forth between the two of you. It, if I'm being really honest, it doesn't feel very mature. It doesn't feel particularly mature and it doesn't feel like it feels healthy to you um this could be this could be a timing issue this could be yeah let me just get a little more here and there's the seven of cups again and there's the hierophant this is what it's really all about for you um you actually want to be in a committed relationship and this person, it doesn't feel like they're giving you what you want. That Hierophant is Taurus energy. It's the energy of marriage, contracts, doing things a certain way. Um, commitment. Commitment. You would like a commitment with this person and they haven't showed, or you're not, you're not even sure you want a commitment with this person. It's just the fact that they're not offering it to you that's got you kind of torqued, I think. I'm gonna get another deck just real quick like um, because I want to know deep down how this person actually feels about you they don't know what to do either um, they're not very open to sharing their lives. They're not very open to sharing their heart. They're going through a lot of changes themselves. And they're actually, like I said, there's this mirroring energy. You have a lot of the same cards here. Um, but this nine of swords is someone who feels like they are in a mental prison right now. This person, okay, I know I was bagging on them earlier. And we had, is that right? Yeah, the final card there was the sun in the reverse. And now I've got the sun upright here. Um, 
I feel like Leo season is going to be a game changer. And I think this is when you're going to make a decision ultimately about this relationship. And I think it's going to be like a very de definite, definite choice here. Um, this person, I think deep down, actually does want to commit to you, but they're really struggling to open their heart. They're really struggling to to make a commitment because they're not sure where their lives are headed right now. Now there's something about you that keeps them from walking away completely. But you've got the fool card out here as one of your first cards and you've got this world card here, which is the final card in the major arcana of a deck of tarot. It's like you're both going through a lot of major changes right now. And so this person's not sure of who they're going to be tomorrow or even where they're going to be tomorrow. This person is going through, this person that you're involved with here, it feels like they may make poor choices in relationships that drive people away from them often. And you may know that about this person and that may be why you've given them multiple chances here. And I feel like you have given them multiple chances to kind of show you how they're feeling about you, what they think about you. And they're not opening up at all. I've got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles, both of them with their back turned here. Now the King of Cups, and, and you've got the King of Wands out here as well. So you've got, um, and the Nine of Pentacles again. My gosh, you got a lot of repeats here. And I've got the Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Cups here. And there's the Temperance card. Um, Sagittarius energy, that Six of Cups is soulmate energy. But what I was gonna say about this King of Cups before I got so distracted is that they're not real great at sharing their feelings no matter what. So whenever we have them with their back turned, it's it's like they're distracted by something else. They could be um, kind of down about some circumstances within their lives. It's I feel like I have somebody who's almost praying, hoping that you don't leave yet um, because they understand that they are not at their best selves right now. However, the way that they're treating you is not good enough, man. Man, it's really not. Um, this person feels like you almost check all of the boxes for them. But there's a part of them that worries that you may be a little off balance yourself and you might be. Like I said, this could be a timing issue. It does feel like a runner chaser dynamic and it does feel like you're both kind of in the same place at the same time, like as far as mentally or emotionally goes, like where you're both really on the fence about this, which direction do I wanna go? Which decision do I wanna make? Both of you may have been single and independent for quite some time with that nine of pentacles out there twice. That's the minor arcana of the empress. Um, you both may be financially independent. You both may be, um, you may own your own businesses. Um, it just feels like you've both been on your own for a long time. And so for you, I mean, I, I don't think you're like, I'm, I'm not getting like horrible soul crushing pain here for somebody, but there's a reason why the reading's coming out here. So it is on someone's mind. This relationship is on someone's mind. And you're not really sure how to make heads or tails of this. You got the seven of cups out here twice, which is about being kind of emotionally overwhelmed or experiencing some kind of distortion. And with that five of swords, you guys may have had a verbal altercation that changed the dynamic of this relationship to where now you're not entirely sure if you could ever really commit to this person or if this person could ever really commit to you. Um, Ultimately, if I'm gonna be really honest, I think whoever I'm reading for here, I think you're gonna let this person go during Leo season. I do, I really do. I just saw 1441 on the counter. 
Um, because I see this energy of breadcrumbing continuing. I see a breakup here with the Three of Swords. I see the Death card here, which is a final ending. I think this person's going to continue to treat you the way that they always have. I don't think they're going to change. I know. I don't like saying it either, but I'm telling you what the cards are saying here. I'm telling you what I'm getting from this. Um, I think that once you finally let go of this person, um, and, and I'm reading for whoever I'm reading for, I feel like you're coming in as this queen of cups with their back turned. You see she's got this heron carved on the back of their throne, right? Um, and that is a symbol of independence and doing it on your own. And I feel like you would prefer to have less drama in your life than more. And for whatever reason, this person, whether you're with them, not with them, whether they're ghosting you, whether you, it's like you come together and then you fall apart and then you come together and then you fall apart. And it has a lot to do with the way this person um, interacts with you and also just the way they interact in general. There's kind of an energy of immaturity here, regardless of their age. Um, no shade to them, like, but that, that's just kind of the vibe I'm getting from this, you know, as you can see. It seems a little bit like somebody that's kind of image driven or needing to win or needing to always come out on top or needing to have the last word in an argument or needing to prove that they're right. That's kind of immature, right? Um, it feels like regardless of whether you're soulmates or not, and I do have this six of cups out here. And, and soulmates, they come into our lives. What do we say? A season, a reason, or a lifetime, right? Um, but you were meant to know this person. I feel almost like this person was meant to be a mirror to you, to show you what you'll accept into your life, what you won't accept into your life, and what you represent to yourself. Uh, this person, I feel like they wish they could give you what you need. And I feel like they, they really, mm, this is just it though. I really, uh, I'm of two minds about this. And I figure this is why we have this reading on this table at all is because somebody here is really struggling to decide what they want to do. You have the, the nine of pentacles out here twice, which is the minor arcana of the empress. Then you've got it again here with the empress, right? Then you've got the wheel of fortune in the upright this time. Before I saw that sun in the reverse, now I've got it in the upright. But again, I have this five of wands. The five of wands for me is about making your list. It's analysis paralysis. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should invest in this person. I don't know if I should call them. I don't know if I should text them. I don't know if I should break up with them. I don't know what to do. Leo season, you'll know. I feel like, I feel like if you choose to stay with this person, it's going to be more of the same. I don't think they're really going to change despite the fact that I see that they ultimately, like deep down inside, they really probably want to commit to you. They probably do, but there's something that's keeping them from being able to express their emotions and there's something that keeps them from being able to put down roots with you. I don't know what that is. Um, some of these folks are very stubborn and some of them have like a very mighty ego. And some of them are coming from a place of immaturity where they may just have never grown into themselves fully. Do I think they're going to change? I don't. I don't think they're going to. <laughs> Um, but I know that you're going to make a definite decision by the end of Leo season, possibly the beginning of Leo season, um, possibly during Cancerian season. I've got a lot of, um, I've got Cancer, I've got Leo out there twice, I've got the Hierophant out there twice, which is Taurus, um, that I've got Virgo out here with that Empress and with the Hermit. Um, I got a lot of sevens in here and a lot of fives. Fives are chaos and conflict that bring about change. And I think 777 is when we finally ask for guidance. Some of you may want to pray a little bit about this, meditate on this a little bit. But ultimately, I don't see this situation changing much because I don't think this person is capable of the change that you need to see in them. And that's not their fault. 
you know, that it's just simply that you need something that they're not able to give you. I think you'll have made a decision by um, Leo season and we'll find out which way it goes. All right. Thanks for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you soon Mwah. to you all.